I've just been using this time to sharpen up, like sharpen up on my skills, research, you know, like just sharpen up on every skill, like mixing and mastering, video editing, uh, writing. Like I always been self quarantined. Like I'll be, you know, I always been in the lab, like just, you know, practicing on my craft or whatever. So it's not really a big change for me. The only thing is just the, um, the festivals and the market, like, you know, meeting, you know, networking. But as far as just sharpening up on my craft and my skills, that's all I've been doing. Just, you know, trying to get better at everything that I was doing. My parent, well, uh, my dad was a musician. So he was a brass band, you know, in New Orleans, the jazz scene is pretty big. So I was on um, the road with him a lot. So he had me focusing on being a musician at first. So I was like just a percussionist playing, snare drum playing, uh, bass drum playing, every drum. That's why I learned how to read music and, you know, just tap in with the music. That was my first experience with music. Right, right. It was more on the production side than, than writing. And I kind of keyed in with writing probably when I was like 11 years old. Probably when I wrote my first rap. Yeah, it was a record called um, Bet I. It was off of, um, I think, a Lil B, the bass guy beat. It was uh, probably like 2010. Um, I didn't even write. It, I just kind of went in the studio. I was at um, Young Money Studio with... Uh, where Wayne and all them was recording the squad of mixtapes. I don't know if y'all familiar with that in Chicago. But it was huge locally, so I was in that studio, and I kind of just went in and just, rec like, just went in, like, not even writing, just just went naturally off the feel of it. Uh, this project, uh, I kind of just, it kind of just came about in, like, three days. Like the whole project really just came out in three days. So the most memorable moment was me doing the intro, the bomb. And it was like, I just heard the beat and I just fell in love with the beat. Like I, it was a uh, street fame beats. I just fell in love with the beat and I just, it was just amazing. So I just kind of like, I wrote, I wrote the song. I actually wrote it. So I wrote it down and probably like, 20 30 minutes and then just went in and recorded the whole thing and then once i did that song i was just so excited from hearing that song and just did like three three more that same day like the first four songs i did in one day and the uh, last three songs i did in the next day so the whole experience was just you know we was in quarantine so it was it wasn't much to do and it was just uh you know just vibing with they had probably like seven people in the studio with me just vibed out just knocked it down quick i was just so excited for that i was just like all right I, now i gotta do a tape because i didn't did this song i didn't like this song i'm gonna make this the intro but now i have to make songs around it so i was trying to go for the same sound but i just heard the uh the udk too and you know, that's a Jay-Z sample. So when I heard that, I was like, that's like one of my favorite Jay-Z songs, like to show you how to do it. And he's like my main inspiration for music. Like, so I was just like, nah, I have to do this one. El Dablito came about um, me just recording, bomb, feeling the energy from it and just making music around it, um, just, just focusing on making a mixtape after I recorded that one song, just making a mixtape. I already had the title in mind. And El Dablito means the little devil. And I don't mean that in a, like a atheist type way. I mean it in like, my music is so hot. It's the only thing that could be compared to it is the devil so it's like the hottest mixtape ever like like i recorded it in hell that was the whole concept about it i feel like um i learned that mixing and mastering is 
one of the most important things of music like it's more important than your actual lyrics kind of because the sound it gives it a sound and a feel like that if you can't like if you didn't do it like if you didn't do it the mixing and mastering right it could be a great song but even if that's not done right people not going to get the full effect of the whole song if it's if that's not right so that's like one of the main important keys of recording period yeah what's next for me i'm um i'm about to drop the deluxe in like two to three weeks with like seven more songs and 2020 i'm gonna wrap 2020 up with um three videos off that and just expect a lot of more videos in 2021 and more music just keep working trying to stay focused